This is Fitness Blender's Standing Abs Workout Routine. For this workout routine, we're going to be going through 10 different exercises for 45 seconds each. You're going to need some kind of weighted object such as a medicine ball or a dumbbell for this routine, but a can of beans or a bottle of water works just as well. Let's go ahead and get started with the first exercise. We're going to be doing the standing pike crunch first. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. You're going to raise that leg straight out in front of you, keeping it as straight as you possibly can, reaching down towards those toes with those hands, trying to get down and touch that foot, or even past that foot if you can. So you really want to try to work that range of motion, rounding those shoulders forward as you stretch down towards that foot, getting a nice tight squeeze on those abdominal muscles at the same time as using that hip flexor to raise that leg up as high as you can. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Make sure you're not swinging your leg. You want a nice, slow, controlled motion coming up as you stretch down towards that foot. Nice, slow, controlled motion as you drop that leg back down to the ground. Almost done. It's your last one. And let it relax. And go ahead and switch sides. Get ready. And begin. So same exact motion, bring that leg up nice and straight, stretching down towards those toes as far as you can, rounding those shoulders over forward, getting a nice tight squeeze with those abdominal muscles as well as that hip flexor pulling that leg up, really trying to stretch down to that toe or even past if you can. Remember always keeping a nice slow controlled motion as you raise that leg, nice slow controlled motion as you drop that leg back down. Almost done, just two repetitions left. And here's your last one right here, nice tight squeeze. And let it relax. All right, next we're gonna be doing the Captain Morgan diagonal pass. You're gonna use a medicine ball or a dumbbell for these or any other weighted object. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Go ahead and bring that left knee up really nice and high and hold it there as you pass that medicine ball or dumbbell from over top of that right shoulder to down to the outside of your left hip. Nice, slow, controlled motions. You're keeping it relatively close to your body as you come through. So nice and high over top of that right shoulder. Keep it right across the front of your chest as you drop to the outside of your left hip, and then right back up again. Move nice and slow. The slower you go, the easier it's gonna be for that balance. And also, you wanna focus on trying to rotate those shoulders. So as that ball comes up over top of that right shoulder, kinda of rotate those shoulders to the right. And as it comes down to the outside of that left hip, rotate those shoulders to the left. We're almost done. And let it relax. All right, we're going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. Go ahead and get ready. And begin bringing that right knee up nice and high. Now moving that medicine ball or dumbbell from over top of that left shoulder to the outside of that right hip. Remember, keep it relatively close to the center of that chest as you come through. Nice, slow, controlled motions, trying to rotate those shoulders as you move. So as that arm comes up over top of that left shoulder, rotate those shoulders to the left. And as you reach down to the outside of that right hip, rotate those shoulders to the right. Just keep that motion going, nice and slow under control. Almost done. Just a couple more. And let it relax. All right, next one is our jumping oblique twist. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So hopping back and forth those feet really quickly, trying to get those feet to actually face in opposite directions, rotating around that torso only. Try to keep those shoulders facing straight forward the entire time but rocking those hips from left to right as much as possible. Make sure you keep this motion as quick as possible, only landing on those toes for a split second before you're jumping right back the opposite direction. The faster you go on this, the more you're gonna get out of those obliques and those abs.
almost done, just about four seconds left. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is a torso rotation. This is a stretch and an exercise all in one. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Keeping those legs perfectly straight and keeping that back relatively straight. You're going to swing down and to the right, swinging down to the center. Slowly up the left side until you're fully straight, leaning back just a little bit. Pause and then reverse direction. So nice and slow down to the left side, rolling out forward coming to the center and then up the right side, pausing, leaning backwards just a little bit, and then right back forward. Now as you lean to the side, that's gonna be the obliques. As you lean forward, that's gonna be that lower back. And as you lean back, that's gonna be those abdominal muscles. Just so it goes all the way around that entire core, really focusing on trying to get a lot of range of motion out of it. Almost done. One more time through and let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the high knee chop. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So really drive that knee up nice and high, pulling those arms down, crunching forward just a little bit. Should be feeling this in your hip flexor as well as your abdominal muscles as you crunch forward. Just keep that motion nice and quick, going from over top of your head down to the outside of that right hip then right back up again. Make sure it's a really nice quick motion, barely tapping that foot to the floor and then driving that knee right back up again. Almost done, about five seconds. And let it relax. All right, moving to the next one, we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Go ahead and get ready and begin. So same motion, this time drawing that left knee up really nice and high, bring those hands down to the outside of that left hip. So remember again, this is a really nice quick motion, stepping that foot back behind you, touching just barely, and then driving that knee right back up again. Just keep that motion going under control, nice and quick. Almost done, about five seconds. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the last one. This is the waist pinchers. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring that right arm up and turn that right knee out to the side. And then slowly draw your knee up really nice and high at the same time as crunching that shoulder and elbow down towards that thigh. Now keep that motion relatively fluid, barely tapping that toe to the ground before driving that knee right back up again. Really focus on trying to pull that shoulder down into that hip, getting a nice tight squeeze in that oblique, keeping that motion relatively quick, nice and controlled contractions. Almost done, just a couple more repetitions. Your last one, nice tight squeeze, and let it relax. All right, we're gonna switch sides, do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. This time pulling that left knee up really nice and high, pulling that left elbow down, crunching that left shoulder down into that hip. Try to keep that motion through your torso straight sideways as much as you can. Try not to lean that shoulder forward, try not to crunch forward with those abs. You just want to use those obliques tipping sideways only. Remember, keep that knee out to the side as best you can. Try not to let it come straight up in front of you. You want to be kicking it straight out to the side. Same thing with that elbow. You don't want it in front of your chest. You want it out to the side of your chest. Almost done. Just a couple more repetitions. And there's your last one right there. And let it relax. Good job. You just completed this 10-minute standing ab workout routine.